Make that big boss less special It ain't no game, but they say I'm Welcome to the second level What's going on, Legion? This is David with the Stream Team coming at you with episode two of Patient Zero, Hitman Silent Assassin walkthrough. Here we go. So for this, what we're going to do is uh, start with the lock pick and the fiber wire. I do not have my gun like normal, and uh, we're just going to use the lock pick in the first two doors here. So uh, you'll definitely need that. So let's get going. Here we go. So let's head over to this door. And we're going to go all the way to the top. Once we're there, I'm going to use instinct to figure out where the occupant is. And if the timing is right, which, yep, awesome. So you want her to be heading towards the kitchen when you do this. Unlock the door. Sneak in. And then we're going to just uh, take her out don't kill her but take her out and take her down just for the sake of uh, ease because she can get in the way you can do it without disrupting her but it's a little bit more difficult and this just makes the life a little easier okay so when you come out quickly grab the toy here stay up against the wall and then toss it uh, if you're not careful, you will get spotted instantly by that guard up there. Okay, that did exactly what we needed it to do, which is draw the attention of the guard upstairs. And so just stay up against the wall. And as he comes down, we're going to take him out quickly. Don't kill him, just subdue him. And then we're going to drag him into the same apartment after we take his disguise. I'll do this quickly. Back in, and then we're going to go straight back, and there's a closet here. We're just going to put both of the uh, folks we took care of there in that closet. Just for a little housekeeping. Boy, she's in for a, an awakening. Anyway, so once we've done that, pick up the gun. Don't really need it, but it's part of the outfit. And then just kind of stay low. We're going to come up here. And using instinct, there's our target. So what we're going to do is, as you can see, one of the bodyguards can recognize us. We're going to wait till he goes in and then follow him into that room. So there we go. And here he is by himself. And I'm going to use the uh, good old fiber wire to take him out. You can use whatever you choose as long as you don't make any noise and distract the guard outside. So, dumping him in there and taking his outfit. And now I can meet our other target as the target. Make sure w that we pick up the virus sample. And we're going to use that as well to uh, distract our, uh, our guard. Alright, so we have the virus sample, have the bust. I'm going to open the door and toss this in to lure him in. There we go, and there we go. So, he took the bait. He's going to come check. And I'm not even going to take him out. I'm just going to sneak by and go. Okay, so now we're just going to head back downstairs, and our next destination is the church. Club 
Okay, so as we come up, there's our target. We're going to head in, and we're going to have to wait a little bit. They're supposed to meet at midnight, so there is going to be a little bit of just kind of waiting around. Uh, I'm just going to grab some coins here, just in case I need them. I don't think I will, um, but just for the sake of... maybe needing them I'll grab them also uh, there are a couple other ways to get uh, challenges done through here uh, like there is a signing booth where you stab him with a pen and we'll go over there and I'll point that out uh, once we're there but for the purposes of this we're going for silent assassin that one is very obvious this is going to be a little more subtle. It would be dangerous. If I was right, because the shadow would be there. Constantine had grown quiet when we spoke about it. I knew that was because the Dark Kingdom had laid its hand upon the whole coast from New Land down and almost all the way to Vossel. It would be dangerous for us to go there. But he would. And we both I walked with both of them along the grass, waiting for the sky to grow pink. It would be the dawn, and both of them would be gone. And this morning, for the first time, perhaps one of them would not return. Anyways, thanks for listening. I'll be back shortly to read a bit more. See you soon. Everyone, remember that the Queen will be signing books very shortly. To look where you're going, mister. Ah, have fun, sir. Okay, when he comes over here, you can see this is the opportunity I was talking about. You could probably do it here quickly and as you can see there is a guard there though so it does get a little tricky and you know not what we're doing for this walkthrough so uh, actually what we're gonna do is what brings me over here uh, he does know that we are obviously gonna meet at midnight and uh, he's just going out for air though because it's still not time and no matter what you do when you talk to him He's going to say it's not time. So what we're going to do is just to take care of a little of the uh, video evidence and head down here and we're going to destroy the uh, video surveillance. So just head over here and with that door shut you can do this and that's it. Don't have to worry about being recorded by security cameras and we're good to go so let's head back up and there's gonna be just a little bit more downtime till midnight and uh, we will get briefed on when it is time like this part, and uh, I can see there are a, a few new faces in the crowd, so I'll read through it again. <clears throat>
Michael and Constantine faced each other. Michael with his intense eyes, and Constantine with his soulful mouth and hair blowing the winds of the immaterial world. Michael almost shouted, Constantine, you're putting us both in danger. It's not about me, it's about her. I am vouchsafe, and the City of the Light will receive me no matter what happens. But if the Dark Watchers find her, there is no telling what they will do. Constantine said nothing for the longest time. I held my breath for longer, waiting to hear what he said. Then, before he could speak, I couldn't bear it any longer and I ran. I left both of them there in the graveyard and ran into the forest. Behind me, their ghostly words floated away on the wind. What's up? The targets are heading for the meeting now. All right, it's showtime. So let's follow him straight back. And basically, there is a little bit of a uh, glitch in the game, I guess, or I don't know. Basically, I I've try I try to talk to him this whole time, can't get him to do it until we get a little further out. But basically, we're gonna. We're going to come back to this shed right here where I'm standing. Uh, and just let him go out a little further and maybe that's the deal. So once he comes out here maybe? Brother. Yes. Okay. So finally I can talk to him and I say those words. He hopefully will reply to me in a second. There we go. And so now I'm going to ask him to follow me. And we're going to head back to the shed. We're going to go in and go straight back. If you don't go straight back, um, he doesn't uh, go in far enough and the door won't close behind him. You definitely want the door to close behind him. Like that. So that you can get behind him, and we're going to fiber wire him and leave him here. Then we're going to go out that window and go out to the boat. And that's it. So, here we go. Fiber wire. Drop him. I'm going to go out here. And we're going to drop down the side right here. And we're going to just make a little U-turn. Run down up these stairs, down to the right. Down those stairs. And straight back to the boat. Hope you liked the video, Legion. That Silent Assassin for Episode 2. And, uh, as always, welcome to the second level. Bye!